Hi, St. James friends. Today we're going to read a story from our Spark Bible. This story is called Early Believers. Here it is. It's right on page 504. So you can get your Bibles out and read along with me. Or you can look at it later on and read it. Okay, are you ready? Early Believers. Some of the early believers were great at sharing. They shared their food and their clothes. They shared their money and their homes. They were so generous. No one was poor or needy because others gave without holding anything back. Together they saw many miracles and wonders. They met in the temple and they met in their homes. They talked about Jesus and they thanked God for blessing them. Then something amazing happened. When other people saw how happy these first believers were, sharing all they had and talking about Jesus, they believed too. They became Christians and they shared their food and their clothes, their money and their homes. They became one big Christian family and their church family grew and grew and grew. Here's the picture again. You can look on there and see if you can find squiggles in the picture. I see oh, him. Oh, I found him. Did you find him? He's right down there in the bottom. Yep. yep. There's a question here. It says, try sharing your happiness with others. Think of something happy or exciting to tell three friends or family members. Yep. So that's your challenge for this lesson. Robert, do you have anything exciting you could share? Yep. What is it? Um, I made an elf house and, and I made a coffin and it, in my and it walked out. Yeah, you made an elf house yesterday. That was pretty fun. Yeah. Willa, do you have anything that you want to share today? No. No, not today? Okay, that's all right. Sometimes you just have to think about it for a little while. So today the craft that we are going to do is sort of about sharing, and it's about sharing our love. In the book, in the story, the people shared their messages about Jesus by going out and telling people and meeting with their friends. Well, right now, we're not really able to do that. We can't really share as much of our love as that we want to in person, but we can share it by making something for someone. And today, we are going to make a hug. We're gonna make a hug that you can send to someone. That's yeah, kind of. I'm not sure if you've ever done this before, but it's, yeah. it's a pretty fun idea. So what That's you're gonna need is amazing. two different colors of paper. You're going to need a pair of scissors. Okay. You're going to need some tape. You're going to need some yarn. Or you can use string, or you can use ribbon, or maybe you want to use a big strip of fabric. It's fine. And you're going to need some markers or crayons, whichever you like to work with better. Yeah. The first thing you're going to want to do is have, you might need some help with this part, have someone trace both of your hands. So you put your hands on the piece of paper and your mom or dad or sister or brother can trace them for you. So I have Robert's hands right here. They are. Trace, this, this how big trace and is. cut them out. Willa's working on cutting hers out right now. She's got one already done and now she's gonna cut out the other one. And then, Ooh. I'm going to demonstrate this with Robert because we already have Willa's string cut. You're going to take your string and Robert, put your arms out like you're going to give someone a big hug, okay? Come a little closer to me, please. So you put your arms out. This you're going to need help with too. This is kind of a two-person project. Hold out the string, whoops, ah. and measure. Have someone measure your arms and then cut the string. Oh, are you going to give me a hug right now? That's very nice. Thank you. So you will cut the string the length of your arms. Then take your hand yep. and your string and get a piece of tape. Robert, do you want to take that on? Yeah. I'm going to do this and put it on. Okay, tape that on. Then let's get one more piece of tape. How are you doing, Willa? Good. She's doing good. She's almost done. And then you're going to tape the other one on. Tape this. Take the piece of tape. 
and tape that, and I'll show you what this looks like in the back. Oh no, I that's okay. Oh, that's okay. We'll just fold it over. See, you got your hands taped together. Whoops, that's the tape side. See the tape side on there? Now we have this big space in the middle. I think we should put something in the middle. Yeah. I found this. Out of this nice little saying here it says even when we are apart you are always in my heart so Can you the to me yep there you go so what you're gonna do with that is find the middle point it doesn't have to be exact but just make sure you're flipped on the side where the tape is on the back put your heart in the middle and then we're going to get one more piece of tape, and Robert is going to tape or glue. that on. Yep, you could use glue too, but tape just works what? a little faster, and you don't have to worry about letting it dry. And then, okay, Robert, you hold on to this hand for me, and we're going to hold it up. Now, hold come it. over here. Come closer. Look it. When you send this to someone, they'll see that you could have a hug. Look it, I could wrap this around me. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to pretend like Robert's hugging me right now. Oh, that feels so good to get a hug from someone. So you could send this to a grandma or grandpa, or maybe you want to send it to one of your friends who you would like to give a big hug to when you can't see, or an aunt or uncle, a cousin. Look at Willa got hers all done too. Oh, she used so green oh, for no. her hands oh, no. and, side down. and blue whoa. for her string. Whoa, 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 whoa. no. And Robert did the exact And then you'll just stick. put it in an envelope, and maybe you want to write a little note in there and say that you are sending them a hug yeah. in the mail since you can't hug them in person. And you're sharing. You're sharing God's love with them, and you're sharing your love with them. Mm -hmm. Was that a fun project, guys? You like that one? Yeah. Yeah! yeah that was pretty quick and easy. Now we have a prayer that we're going to say. Mm -hmm. You guys want to bow your heads and pray with me? Yeah. Dear Jesus. Please help us to share your love and your care. Remind us to share with people everywhere. Help us find ways to share every day. Amen. So I hope that you enjoyed this craft. I hope that you can find a way to share your love with someone, even if you can't be you with them. Yep. yep, and you could even keep this at home and hang it up and as a decoration to help you to remember to share your love. But I think it would be great if you could make a few of these. Since they're so easy to make, yeah. you could make a whole bunch of these. You can make 5,000! Send them out to all of your different relatives that you want to give them a big, big hug. You can make 5,000! <laughs> yeah, you could. All right, so have fun making this craft, and we will see you next week. Yeah!